Good morning and welcome to our year-end school liturgy. For Christians, to give thanks is a natural as greeting. Jesus gave thanks constantly. He thanked God for the fate of the humble and for revealing to little ones the secrets of the kingdom. He thanked God for little children whom he blessed and the birds of the air and the fish of the sea whom he used in his parables. No matter how hard this year might have been, we are still called to be grateful. Gratitude is an attitude toward life that recognizes that we are all connected in a world dominated by social distancing. Let us connect today in a prayer by giving thanks to God for the year that we will remember for a long time. As we celebrate the Pride Month and Indigenous History Month, we also adore a most sacred heart of Jesus as a symbol of threefold love, human, spiritual, and divine. So let us begin. Thank you. 
In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Lord, as we conclude this unusual school year, grant us vision and guidance. Help us to make our school a safe place to learn and grow, for you created all of us in, a, in your image and made us all members of the family of God. As we celebrate the glory in the heart of your beloved Son, may we experience the true meaning of love and share it with all. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever, amen. A reading from the book of Hosea. Hear the word of the Lord, O people. When Israel was a child, I loved him, and out of Egypt I called my son. The more I called them, the more they went from me. Yet it was I who taught Ephraim to walk. I took them up in my arms, but they did not know that I healed them. I led them with cords of human kindness, with bands of love. I was to them like those who lift an infant to the cheek. I bent down to them and fed them. How can I give you up, Ephraim? How can I hand you over, O Israel? My heart recoils within me. My compassion grows warm and tender. I will not execute my fierce anger. I will not again destroy Ephraim. For I am God and no human being. The Holy One in your midst, and I will not come in wrath. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The response is, teach me your ways, O Lord. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Lead me in your truth and teach me. For you are the God of my salvation. For you I wait all day long. Teach me your ways, O Lord. Good and upright is the Lord. Therefore he instructs sinners in the way. He leads the humble in what is right and teaches the humble his way. Teach me your ways, O Lord. All the paths of the Lord are steadfast love and faithfulness for those who keep his covenant and his decrees. The friendship of the Lord is for those who fear him, and he makes his covenant known to them. Teach me your ways, O Lord. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. My dear brother Timothy, remember Jesus Christ, raised from the dead, a descendant of David. That is my gospel for which I suffer hardship, even to the point of being chained like a criminal. But the word of God is not chained. Therefore, I endure everything for the sake of the elect, so that they may also obtain the salvation that is in Jesus Christ, with eternal glory. The saying is sure. If we have died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we deny him, he will also deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. Remind them of this and warn them before God that they are to avoid wrangling over words, which is no good, but only ruins those who are listening. Do your best to present yourself to God as one approved by him, a worker who has no need to be ashamed, rightly explaining the word of truth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. A reading of the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory be to you, <clears throat> O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, you have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, so that you may be children of your Father in heaven. For he makes his sun rise <coughs> on evil and on the good, and sends rain on the righteous and on unrighteous. For if you love those who love you, what reward 
do you have? Do not even the tax collector do the same. And if you greet only your brothers and sisters, what more are you doing than others? Do not even the Gentiles do the same. Be perfect, therefore, as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Let's try to uh, imagine ourselves coming uh, from a test at the end of the school year. On that day, being the exam day, you don't have to wear the uniform. You can come wearing whatever you feel. You come, you answer all the questions, hoping to get a straight A from the test. But all of a sudden, your math teacher starts grading final exams by assigning A's to clean-cut, well-groomed students who came wearing designer clothes that morning, B's and C's to classmates who came wearing regular t-shirts and jeans, these to students who came wearing sportswear and jerseys, and F's to students who came wearing just casual clothing. How would you feel? Obviously, these grades would have nothing to do with what you studied for. It would be unfair, even ridiculous, to assign grades this way. Sadly, people make equally ridiculous judgments against other racial groups, people of color, different nationalities, those belonging to LGBTQ plus community without ever trying to meet with them or trying to understand that group. Let us not close ourselves in a box, feeling safe behind barriers of ignorance. Jesus, in his love during this month, asks us to be different. He's asking us to erase intolerance and prejudice toward others. Our church documents help us understand better our faith, but doctrinal statements do not mark our faith and who we are. Our love toward others marks our faith. And if you love other people, you must respect them for who they are. No one was ever won into the kingdom of God through snobbery. The only way to come and know God is through love, as Jesus said in today's gospel. Amen. The response is, Lord, hear our prayer. For the church that we may work to form our hearts according to the heart of Christ, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis, Douglas, our Bishop in Wayne, his auxiliary, for all bishops, priests, deacons, chaplains, lay ministers, and the whole of the faithful people, that they may serve God's people with joy and receive care and support, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For our country that we may honor the poor and the vulnerable and serve the common good, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For God's protections, for all people and that we may remember to pray for their and our health and safety especially during this time of the COVID-19 pandemic we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer for those who have been abandoned and rejected that they may experience their dignity and the love of Christ we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer for the sick the suffering and the dying that they may find healing and strength in Jesus we pray to the Lord Lord hear our prayer for all those who have died and those who they left behind to grieve, that they may all rest secure in the sacred heart of Christ, 
we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves and for all the prayers we keep in our hearts, we pray to the Lord, Lord, hear our prayer. Let us gather all of our prayers into one and say with courage the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lord, you deserve all honor and praise because your love is perfect and your heart open to all. Our hearts are filled with gratitude for the many blessings and graces you bestow upon us and all those whom you created and love. May we never take for granted the gifts of mercy and love that flow so freely and generously from your sacred heart. Teach us to use those gifts in your name. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, now and forever and ever. Amen. May God bless you. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. At the end, I would like to thank Student Council and our Equity and Inclusivity Club for helping with today's liturgy. To all graduates, all the best in your future studies. For all returning students, I hope to see you in a school in September. Have a wonderful summer break.